Now let me show you how to use your Concrete Calc Pro's rebar functions to calculate the total lineal footage and weight of rebar you'll need for any pad or shape. First off, it's important to know that the rebar size defaults to a number 5. You can set that for any size you want, imperial or metric, any kind of size. But we're going to leave that for now. And the on-center spacing is 18 inches on-center both directions. And that we have an inset coming in from all edges of the forms of 3 inches. Those are default values. You can change any of the one any one of those, but for right now we're going to leave that the same. So let's put in a simple pad, say 10 feet long and 10 feet wide, hit rebar, and just that quickly we need 152 lineal feet of rebar. Now keep in mind this is total lineal length and that's butt to butt, that does not include any overlapping of rebar, so if you plan to overlap you do need to add in a factor for that. The second press will give me the total weight of that rebar, so for a number 5 that's 158 pounds of rebar. Now if we like, as an example, let's go back in and change the on-center spacing for much tighter. Let's go to 12 inches, store, convert, rebar size, rebar on-center now is 12 inches, and let's go to a 3 quarter inch rebar diameter, 3 quarter inch size. 3 quarter inch is now my rebar size. So now we can go back to our 10 by 10 room, or pad rather. Now press rebar. We're going to need 209 lineal feet since it's much closer together. We need a lot more of it. Press it again and that's going to be 313 pounds of rebar based on the thicker size and the additional rebar. So that's the demo on the rebar function. For more details you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.